Welcome to Six is One. This week we had a couple of podcast series that ended up with an echo due to some technical difficulties. We have those sorted out, but unfortunately the episode that you're about to listen to will have a bit of an echo. I apologize in advance and we will work to make a better product going forward. Thank you. Friday nights during the fall. Six-man fans gather to watch a sermon of grit and determination be delivered by six men, ten minutes at a time, four quarters a night. Here you'll find the quarterback, is also the linebacker, and the kicker. Where iron sharpens iron, where hard work pays off, and where six are one. Now for your host of Six is One, Coach Goldman. Welcome, Welcome to Six, six is one. one. This, this is, is uh, Coach, Coach Goldman, Goldman here with, with you. Uh, we, we have, have a, a we've, we've gone a little bit further west, west today. 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 We're, We're out in uh, rural, rural Texas. Texas. Coach Kitley, how, how you doing, sir? I'm doing. I'm good. Just I uh, appreciate uh, getting to talk to you and talk about six man football. It's uh, one of my passions, so I'm excited. Awesome! Awesome! awesome. That's, That's great. great. Well, well Coach, Coach, I always, I always ask, ask people to start off by just kind of giving us a little bit of backstory. You know what I'm. You know, you know, literally, literally I mean, uh, you know, did you, know, did you play? play? And I know, I know you did, did. Uh, uh, but you know, tell, tell me about, about you know, playing and you know, what other sports and, and where, where that took, took you and, and you know, how, how you got, got to, to, to rural Texas. Texas. Well, so well, actually, like you said, I, uh, I, I was born in Stanford, Texas, I was, and I was raised in rural, so I was raised in rural all my life. And then, like you said, I played, I mean, pretty much every sport. You know, I have small schools and small schools you do and um we were very fortunate we got a you know, we had coach Mike Reed was our, my high school coach and uh yeah. we were blessed. We had we had some good athletes and uh, I, I was blessed with a good high school career. We uh we went to state went to the state football game. Uh and we just couldn't beat Richmond Springs but um <laughs> you're, you're the only one. one. You're the, you're the only, only one. one. That's yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we did. Uh, we did. We made it though, and that was a, that was a good experience. And then, um, and then we actually won the uh, state track meet. Uh, and that was actually back when, you know, now they have the six man division. That was we, we, when I was in high school. We started to race against like the, I guess what is current. The kind of two A, two A, yeah. We started, we started to race against those, and we, and we won it as a six man school. So it was pretty, it was pretty neat. We were pretty fired up about that, and uh, and so then I went to, I actually went to McMurray for a year, and uh, I ran track there for a year, and then it was all right. And I, uh, but then after one year, I just decided I wanted to just go to school, and I actually went up to West Texas A and M in Canyon, way up in the Panhandle. Yep. And uh, that's when that's when my brother was there actually playing football. But I just wanted to go there and go to school, and uh, that's where I met my wife and graduated from there, and I got into the coaching world. And um, I guess I've been at I I started out at Woodson. You know what Woodson is? Yes, yes sir. sir. So I've been, <laughs> I started out at Woodson, and then I went up to Miami. Well, when I got there, I said Miami, and people always correct me and said, "No, it's Miami." So <laughs> went to Miami, Texas, and then uh, and then I went to uh, McLean. So I was at McLean for three years, and then Meadow, and then now, then Rule called me. called me last year. You know what's crazy is I remember telling people I would never come. You know the typical like I'm not going to go back home. I won't. You know I'm not going to go back home. And sure enough, their superintendent. Uh, the superintendent called me and he said, "Hey, man, you know, rules kind of, man, rules kind of falling on some hard times. I, like, you know, the two years ago we didn't even finish the season in football. This year we had nine boys, so we didn't have a ton, but we did finish the year. But they were just like, hey, we need, we want you to come back, and we, 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 we need a change. And so, you know, being the role boy and the, having that pride of rule, like hearing us not have a team and just struggling." You know, I talked it over with my wife and different things. We felt like it was right, and so I came back to rule. And man, it's been it's been good. But, you know, the toughest year is always year one, and that year's done. And I've been really pleased with our summer workouts this year because I've been having. I mean, we've had any, like the lowest number we've had is twelve, and the most we've had is nineteen. So the numbers are, are are good at 
at, at the summer workout. So I've been I've been very pleased. The boys have bought in, and they're they're uh, they're they're excited about the year. So yes, sir. That's, that's really, really good. good. That's, that's really, really good here. Year. Uh, uh, you, you know, know the, the uh, I've, I've, I've been talking, talking to a number of, the, uh, of the coaches, coaches that are all coming back, back to, to uh, their, 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 their hometowns, hometowns and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that's, that's really, uh, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, speak, speak a, little a little bit about, about um, you know, I guess, guess you mentioned is, is that watching, watching your program, program that you grew up under, the pride that you played under, under and, and then you know, seeing, seeing it fall on hard, hard times, times. What, what is, is, you know, it's, it's got, got to tug, tug at you a little, little bit. bit. And, you know, yes, what's, what, what's, 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 what's the thought process, process there? there? Yes, yeah, sir, that was the, I mean, that was the thing, you know, like, I mean, you know, I always, obviously, being a little boy, and, and, you know, even though I was coaching other places, I would always, you know, you always want to sit there and see how your, how your hometown's doing, and, yeah. Yeah. you know, and it just, you know, it just, it just seemed like it wasn't going well, I mean, that one year, uh, or two years ago, they were, but they didn't even finish the year, I think they said they had, they, they played like two games, or three, or something, and, you know, and it just, man, it just tugs at you, and, and uh, and you just don't like it because, you know, it's like, man, you know, because you, you take pride in your hometown. And I know how it was when I was in school. And we were pretty good. And people, you know, it was a well-thought-of place. And it was well-respected. And and uh, so it kind of, it, you know, it, it hurt me. And then that's when uh, his name was Mr. Muller. He actually, uh, he was a soup at Royal. He actually retired. And then we got a new soup. Um, but anyways, uh, and he called and said, hey, man, he's like, He's like, we'd love for you to come back. And I had a couple other people in town that would, that another person at the school called and said, hey, would you be interested? And so a, a few people reached out to me and said, they said, man, we just, we need it. It needs a change. And they're like, I think, you know, you'd be a good one to come back. And, uh, you know, with the hometown, like, you know, the success you had when you were here and just all that, they're like, I think our boys, would, that's who we need. We need someone like you. And so I knew what I was getting into. I knew it was going to be uh, – you know, it's going to be a long haul. It's going to be a challenge, but uh, I like challenges, though. And like you said, I mean, not that my other jobs. I mean, everything has meant to, like has meant a lot to me, and, I, and I've given everything I had to whatever, whatever place I was coaching and stuff. But you know, with your hometown, it just is a little different. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, like you know, it's been it's been really good. And I've been I've been super pleased with our boys. They, yeah, I'm I'm the fourth. I was the fourth coach last year in four years. So the the seniors that I had this past year. I mean, I, I literally had a new head coach every single year. And, uh, you know, that's hard on a kid for every year just to change a coach. And, you know, they did a good job and bought in. And they helped our, uh, our saying this year was brick, brick by brick. And uh, just talking about how, you know, you build it up brick by brick. And the yeah. kids, that and family, you know, our other thing, our big thing is family. Uh, and my, my definition of family is uh, forget about me, I love you. And, uh our kids are really bought into that, just, you know, talking about being selfless and, um, and they, nice. they've, they've, they've liked it. And so we've really hit home on those two things and the kids are really buying in and they, they know, uh, I think they know, like, hey, that I'm going to stick around, you know, because it's like, hey, this is his hometown. And I said, they've bought in and I, I've, I've been really pleased with them. They, they, uh, they've, they're excited about this coming year too. And, what else has been nice is, is I've I've gotten a lot of support from just people around the community. We've had, I mean, we've our, our booster club in our school. I mean, I've had such good support. Like, I mean, we've got we got new jerseys coming this past year. Both, you know, or this coming year, we got a we got a new run through tunnel, and I mean, we uh-huh. we got a lot of support right now from people that are excited and they want to put invest some stuff into us and. Of course, then the kids see that and they like it, and so I, uh-huh. I think it's heading in the right direction. It just like you said, it takes or like it takes time. I mean, to change something, it just takes time. So it's going to take a little time, but that's fine. I'm not planning on going anywhere. So I think my wife is getting tired of me moving so much. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's part of it too. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's part. Yeah, you know, you know, it comes from the coaching gig, doesn't it? Move. Move. Yeah, yeah that would be more, more military, military, that's for sure. sure. That's exactly right. Uh, uh, yeah. But, well, you, you know, know you're, 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 you, know, you have family in, 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 in rural. rural. Is it still, I mean, how much your family in, is, is in rural? Is it your parents? Or, or what do you uh, have? Well, no, my, yes, sir. My parents are still here. And then my, uh, my, my oldest brother, um, he's still here. He, he, 
he helps my dad farm. My dad's a farmer. He helps my dad farm a little bit, and then uh, he also has like a like a spraying business for like pest control. Okay. okay. So he still lives there, and then my uncle or one of my uncles. Uh, my dad's got three brothers. You know, one of them, one of them still lives here. The other one is is West Kitley. I don't know. If he is. He's the yeah, yeah. coach at Tech. He yeah, yeah. And, then my, and then my other uncle's at uh, Abilene. So they're still kind of all in this you know, area. And, gotcha. and I'm glad because my uh, one of my just a, my my middle brother he got into coaching. He went to the Leatherman route, and uh, he's been coaching in Magnolia. But his head coach that he works under got the job at Stephenville. So now my brother's. He's gonna be. He's the uh, offensive coordinator at Stephenville, so now he's closer. So that's pretty cool too. That, that is. is. Well, well, you know, you know one, one thing, thing I was gonna say about, about you yeah, having, having uh, you know, you know, family, family there, there is that they, they can, can they can help, help with that, that, that coffee, coffee club. club. You know, you know that, that, that's the, the old man coffee, coffee club. club. That's, that's the one you gotta watch out when you're when you gotta get in there. If you don't if you don't own those guys from the get go, I mean, you're gonna pay for it every Friday night. Well, you're gonna pay for it Saturday morning. And then, and then, and then if you don't really, really take care of it, it'll roll over into the pulpit on Sunday, Sunday and then you're done. That's been good, and and I and I've it's been good for my wife too, because you know she, uh, you know, my mom is still here, so we've got three kiddos, and we got we got a five and a half, a four, and a one and a half. So we there got, yes, go. uh, and so my mom's here to help some, and her mom is good about coming in and helping when she can, and so it's it's been good. That's that's good. Good. Well, yeah, yeah, now you move into zone, zone defense, defense uh, which, which I'm, I'm a big, big fan of. of. You know, you know, that's, that's the problem with people who have lots of children. children. By the way, I, 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 I have five, but, but that's, that's not considered lots, lots in the homeschool, homeschool world. That's, that's considered, considered like you're not even trying. trying. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but, you know, you never ask a homeschool about program grading. They'll always say, oh, yeah, keep going. Just keep going. Blow past me, man. Go straight to zone. So everyone keeps telling me and my wife, they're like, oh, you have three. They're like, just go for four. You know, they're like, once you have three, they're like, once you had another one, it's no big deal. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh. I was like, me and her both are like, I don't know about that. So I, I, I remember, remember those days, days uh, you know, you know but it's, it's tough on mama when they're that little, little and they're just, just you know, cause, cause there's, there's not an older one there to really help out. And, and you know, yeah, I, and I've, and I've been, been telling, telling folks now, now I got a two year old in my house. We, we just recently adopted, which is a real blessing, but, uh, Ezra is two and my oldest is 17 and, you know, you know, I, I tell, tell, tell people the difference between a 17 year old male and a 2 year old male is the driver's license. Because, my, my gosh, gosh they're just, just, you know, when you see both of them side, side by side, you just go, wow. I mean, I mean they're, they're both bulletproof. They, they both eat like crazy. I know that's what they were talking to someone, and they were like, I can't remember. They said, I was, I was like, I feel like all we do is buy, uh, go to the, is just have to buy food. And, and they're like, well, your kids aren't even that big, but I'm like, yeah, but they still eat a bunch. Eh? So, <laughs> I, feel, and I, I can't imagine once they get to be a teenager, it's good enough. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's something, something else. else. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can kind of look, look back, back on it and go, did I really, really eat like, like that? that or, you know, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, well now, 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 Coach, tell, tell me a little, little bit about, um, so you mentioned the off-season, and now that you're this is your first time to put in a true off-season program there, really. Um, um, what, 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 what do you focus, focus on? on? What, what are the things that you ask your young, young men to, to, to do? And you know, where, 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 where do you put your focus in that in that off season? Man, uh, I mean, obviously, my my main focus right now. Well, I mean, we've got different ones, but you know, obviously, my my main thing right now is is to I I, I really I really try to get. I guess character development and really focus on our culture more so than I mean obviously yes we want to get mentally tougher stronger bigger faster all that type of stuff but I've really focused on this year we uh I mean throughout the entire year really uh I always did like talks with my kids and we'd go over we had a word we had like a different word a week or like you know perseverance uh just different topics, I mean, pride, whatever word you don't think, but I would, and we'd have a word, and so like every, I think once a week, we'd, I'd, I'd meet with them, and we'd talk for like, you know, probably 30 minutes over whatever the word was, and, and how, how I'd relate it to life, and you know, just just stuff like that, like, just, I mean, just character stuff, because my, my philosophy is, you know, you, you know, if you base your program on like character and integrity and stuff, eventually, I mean, 
the, the wins are going to come to, I mean, that's just, winning's going to take care of itself. And so, um, you know, I saw a quote the other day by Dabo Sweeney, and he was talking about, you know, he's like, you know, as a coach, you can win, 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 but if your kids aren't successful in life and you didn't really win, you know, it's, I can't remember exactly, but that was the yeah. basis of it. And, you know, when I was younger, I'll be honest, I mean, I still want to win, don't get me wrong. Every coach does, or they wouldn't get in the profession. But I'll be honest, when I first got into it, I, I probably was a little selfish, and I was like, you know, I wanted it to be, yeah, hey, I wanted to be known as this coach that won all the time and blah, blah, blah. And, man, my, my thing has shifted now, and it's all about, I'm just, I want those kids to, you know, act right and be a man and, and uh, have, you know, learn all about that stuff because, you know, a lot, of, a lot of these kids, they don't have that at home, and, and so I'm trying to be in that, that guy for them. And we, I'm just telling you, I stress so much on just character development this whole year, and I, I've seen some – I've seen some good stuff. I know all, a bunch of the school and staff and stuff have said, Coach, this is the best our kids have acted in a long time. And so I, I took pride in that. And we really have stressed on that. But and, and mainly like you're talking about just be – so it was, it was really character development. And the other thing I really wanted to do was, uh, like I talked about, was that family aspect of, you know, forget about me, I love you. And what I like to do is, is I like – you know, because – I'm a big T.J. Flat guy. Like, I study, I mean, I, I have so many books and stuff, but I study different leaders, like coaches that I like, and I like, I really like T.J. Flat. and I was I was studying on P.J. Fleck, and you know, he was talking about how he does, like, he calls it, when he was at, uh, I don't know, I guess, what was it before Minnesota, the, was it at Western Michigan, or anyways, he called it, he called it Bronco Talk, and, uh, but, it, but he like, so he has these words, but he defines them, too. Like, so he, like, because, you know, like he was talking about, you know, you know, if you have a group, if you have a room for 20 kids and you say family, well, you know, he's like, each one of those 20 kids might have a different, different definition of what family means. So he's like, you have to define it for them. And then I'm sorry, but almost, almost kind of brainwash them into like, hey, I know that sounds, but like, and they're like, hey, this is how family is here. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, no I, mean, I mean, you, you got to be on, on, on the same, same page, page right? right? Exactly, and, and uh, I really got into that, so we would, so, like, every word that I come up, like, we, we define it, and I'm, I've kind of got into the big, like, you know, like, family, you know, you F is forget, you know, A, about me, I love you, and, like, so, like, so, like we, we define, like, fail, like, if you fail, that's the first attempt in learning, you know, we do stuff like that, but my kiddos, I mean, they'll, they'll, they can tell you, like, hey, you know what does this mean? And I'll tell you. And you know, I'm, I'm also big on uh, every one of my kids. We have that. Have you heard of that? E plus R equals O. No. You know about that. Uh-huh. Okay. It's, so it's um, and each one of my kids has a has a wristband. But I got this from Urban Meyer. But uh, cause I read one of his books, and it, you know, so the E is event, and then it's like plus response equals your outcome. And basically, what it's saying is, you know, you you don't you don't have much control over the events that happen to you in life. But you can always control your R, which is your response. You know, so even even if something bad happens, well, you can still control how you respond to that to that situation. And uh, and we always talk about how to control your R, control your R, and uh, I don't know. It's just you know, it's yeah. just things like that. But but I tell you, but the kiddos like it, and and uh, I think it's beneficial because you know, I've had I've had many kids that. You know, they come up and they're like, man, because I like those. And so we, I do a talk, and I, I don't mind talking. That's one thing about me. I, it just, like, you know, people laugh all the time. They're like, man, you can talk to about anybody, and I can. And and, uh, and I just like talking. I like talking to the boys, and they like it. And so it, it's been it's been very beneficial. So it's just, I guess that's, but that's a lot of the main stuff that I guess I've really focused on this year. So... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it's, 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 it's part, part of still the culture, culture that you want. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, and I think so in the young men is, is why a lot of us, if you're not in it for it, I don't think you stay, stay in it. I think, I think there are people that have got into coaching for, for maybe, maybe the X's and the O's and the wins versus the losses, but you're not going to stay in it for that. I don't think I've ever run into anybody that's been a veteran coach that's in it for that reason. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's, you know, it's interesting, interesting that, that I, you know, I pulled away from Coach Dagger at that, that um, you know, one thing he does, he stops in the middle of practice to have this conversation. 
Right. right. I mean, I mean the, the type of conversation here. And, and I, I thought, thought that was really interesting. interesting. He said, yeah, yeah it's it. A, you know, we, we always tend to do it at the end of practice, practice right? right? Well, well, I, that's, that's when we, we would have our, what we call our devotional time. And it's devotion for us isn't necessarily all biblical, but it's tied to a biblical principle. And, and you know, he puts it in the smack dab in the middle of practice. He says, like, half time of the game. And I went, well, that's pretty much right. You know, we stop halfway through a game and we... We sit, we sit down, down and we reassess, reassess and we readjust. And, you know, I, you know, I thought, well, you know, you know my, my takeaway from that was, well, well yeah, yeah, I mean, when practice, practice is not going, going that well, it, it probably would be a nice time, time to have a little bit of a reboot. Uh, we've, we've always had those days where my blood pressure starts to, just starts to boil when, you know, when we're not concentrating or not, you know, whatever it is that, that we have going on, and I, you know, the formal's coming up or, you know. Lord, Lord knows what goes through the mind of a you know, 15 to 18 year old male. male. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now you, uh, just, that's that's actually, actually, you have um, sons, sons or daughters? daughters. Uh, I've got two, two sons and one daughter. Okay, okay so, so the, the, the baby's the daughter, daughter then? Well, actually, it's, no, actually, the well, no, our, my daughter, actually, our daughter's the oldest, and I okay. got, and then the two boys, so that's right. Her. Daughter. Daughter. All, All right, so, so yeah, yeah, now you've got, got the good, good well, then you're, you're going to, yeah, I always tell people, people it's, it's, you, you, will, you will spend, spend more time, time you know, in preaching, preaching character and preaching the things that you would, you would like, like to see, because I think, I think as a coach, coach, if you have a daughter, daughter you can, it just, it just drives home the need for men to be men, especially, you know, I agree, I agree, that's one of those things for me, I've been blessed with having daughters as well, and yeah, um, well, you know, my thing, too, on that, like, I, I saw a quote, too, like, I'm a big quote, like I said, I read a bunch, but I remember, and I've heard it before, but it was like, you know, it's, it said, not, and it really has, has driven home, and then I tried to, do, you know, it said, you know, if, if you view, like, if you would cut, like, if you view all those, you know, the your kids or whatever, you know, say, like, your son or daughter, and how you would treat your son or daughter, if you would do that, you know, and if you treat them like that, you know, I'm, a coach is like, you'll be fine, and so I, I like I literally view all those boys as my son, and I'm sitting here like, hey, hey, this is what I would do with my son if you messed up, you know. But it was kind of funny the other day. I told him I said, you know, it was one of those days where uh, a couple of boys were being boys and didn't make a few smart choices, and it was kind of funny. I told him I said, I said, listen here. I said I'm gonna treat you exactly like I would my son, and I kind of stopped myself. I said, actually no, because I said. I was like, I was like, if it, was, if it was my son, I would actually, I would actually bust him. So I said, I can't really bust you, you know, with everything nowadays. But I said, but besides that, I said, I'm gonna treat you exactly like I would my son. And so, but, but you know what? I think, but I think kids like that though, because my kids like, I think they've thrived on it because they want, most kids want structure and they want, you know, oh, to yeah. know boundaries and want all that. And so, well, and I tell them all the yeah. time, it's tough love, it's tough love. So, young, young men, you know, you know it's, it's you know, yeah. Years, years ago, ago I, I was part, part of a, of a yeah, yeah, this is back, back when I was an undergraduate, undergraduate. Um, but, but we, we were doing, doing there, was there was a growth, growth of gangs, gangs in the 80s, 80s from the from the mm-hmm. and so uh, uh, but, but you, you had, had you know, the, the Crips, Crips the Bloods, and, and all this, and, 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 and it was really based, based upon some, you know, some, you know at, at that time, LA gangs, gangs and they were growing across the United States, and the reason that they were finding such, they were resonating so well, well within, within uh, uh, because, because you had, you had a growth in, the, in our country of, of, of inner city youth that, that did, did not did lack, lack, you know, you know uh, father, father father figures, figures. Right. And, 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 and they, they wanted, wanted and, and, and while everybody, everybody was trying to preach to them and coddle them, them and give, give them parks and what they wanted was structure right, right. They, they wanted somebody to tell them not to do this and so you know there were penalties if you did not do what your job was Within, within that, that game culture, culture right? right? You know, now, it was, it was all pointed to a negative, negative you know, outcome, outcome, but, but the, the fact was, was it provided the structure that they were seeking. And, and you know, while, while at the same, same time, time while at the same time, everybody else in the sort of the modus operandi was, well, well we're going to, to uh, you know, just, just really coddle, and that's, that's, that's you know, it, love, love is going to be the answer. No, I mean, it's like you said, tough love. I mean, it's the discipline that comes with the love. 
And, and um, anyway, anyway, so yeah, yeah I, I, I can, can certainly, certainly see, uh, you know, that you know, that's, that's what, what young men, men um, you know, need, and that's what they feed, feed off, off of. And, 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 and I don't know about rules, but a lot of our communities and where we go these days, days there's just a lot of single, uh, single, single parent, you know, you know households. And, and, yeah, that, it's the same, it's the same here. Yeah, yeah it, it, it makes it tough. It does. Yeah. And, but you know, like, like you said, and I, because I, I mean, I like, I preach to our kids all the time, is what it seems like, but I, you know, and I, but I tell them that all the time, like, guys, if someone, I said, if someone truly does love you, I said, they're going to hold you accountable, and they're going to, and I said, even though sometimes you might not, like I said, in your mind, when you're a kid, you might think, well, that person doesn't love you, or love me, because they're, they're hard on me, and they keep, and I'm like, but that actually what love is, because I said, adults don't want you to fail and they don't want you to do it again so they're like hey you know but some kids don't understand that because they've never had it and i'm like and that's what i try to tell them is like i was like no when someone truly loves you that's when they that's when they're hard on you and they want because they want you to get better and they wanted you to hold account be held accountable so once you get out of here you're going to be successful but i said some of them just don't understand that but yeah uh, i've always always told kids to change it i've always always told my my, uh my man i always always tell them look if, if I'm being hard, hard on you, or even just, just when it's not so much hard, hard but if, I'm, if, if I'm, I'm coaching you, it's because, because I care. The, the moment I stop coaching you, right, right or or the moment I, is, is the time you ought to realize that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done, done right? right? I mean, I mean and, and, you know, one of the things is, you know, I always tell you, I mean, I'm very honest with our men, and I tell them, that, that you know, you know, this, is, this, this is the same in life. If, if, if somebody's sowing into you and you're, you're not taking the time to be receptive and you're, you're not taking the time to, 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 to listen and to discipline yourself and to do the things that they're asking of you to do, they, they will stop. stop. And, and the moment, moment they stop, stop yes, they, they, it's, it's not, not that they're, they're going to be just, you're, you're not going to get the benefit of what they have to offer to bring to you. And, and they, they will move on, and they will continue to sow into others around you. Yeah, into others, that's exactly right. And, and, and so you're, you're now going to have to learn vicariously, and that's much harder. And, and so, you, you, know, you, know, you know, if you really want to, uh, when, when somebody's, you know, coaching you up, being, you know, you know, you know maybe, maybe doing, doing the same things, things not, not the way you'd like to hear them said, then then you just simply need to realize that this is somebody trying to take their time, this is their method or their methodology. And, you know, and I, I just find it, uh, you know, years ago, I one of my business management type things, is my background, it, it, it was a good book and it, that, that led to me realizing you don't, don't spend your time on your on folks, on folks who don't, who don't want to take time, time for themselves. I mean, I mean you know, you know yeah. it, it's, it's just a waste, waste, you're just wasting, wasting effort. effort. And, 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 you know, and, and so, you know, and, and I, I've, I've been, I've been blessed, blessed to, to, to have very few, few, of, few of those, those kids, kids, but I think part of it is to let them know, like you say, in these kinds of discussions up front, hey, you know, I'm going to do my part, you do your part, and together we'll both get get better. You know, and speaking of that, I'm just curious where... Uh, what, what do you, you uh, demand, demand of your of your, of your kids? kids? What are some basic principles that you say? You know, look, look to play on my team. You know, you know, maybe, maybe we get these, some, some of this is rules, but rules from rule. There, there you go. go. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, <laughs> so, uh, but you know, go, go, drill, drill down on that a little bit, coach. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you know, for for me, to, you know, I tell them, you know, for one, my main thing is 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 I want them, you know, I, I tell them I want them to, I guess, be a man is our thing is be a man and what comes with that. You know, and I talk about, you know, being responsible for your actions and um, just, you know, I guess that's the main thing, but is, is being a man. But, you know, we, I, I guess a lot of times what I like to do is we have, uh, you know, our core values, um, our core, you know, and I let the kids do, I kind of let the kids pick it a little bit, but I kind of, I'm, I let them pick it after I've talked to them for a while. So they, they're kind of a little bit, the, you know, it's kind of their ownership, but they kind of, yeah. uh, anyway, you get what I'm saying? So, um, but our, 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 um, I guess, like you said, family is always our main thing. It's like, so I want them to be unselfish. Like, that's just, you know, forget about me. I love you. It's all about, you know, it's all about putting others before yourself. So that, that's the main, being a man, you know, putting, being unselfish. And then we go tough, you know, I'm, I'm big on being tough, you know, cause 
that old saying, tough people win, you know, I talk to them all the time about being, you know, not only, not only physically tough, but mentally tough, you know, yeah. you're going to have to be tough in life because life is hard. And so we talk about toughness a bunch. Uh, the E is for effort because, and then A is just for like team, you know, so toughness, uh, effort, attitude, because we, I stress all the time about, about positive attitude and relentless effort. I mean, that's, I tell them those are my non-negotiables, like. You're gonna give me. You're gonna give me. Bring a positive attitude every single day, and you're gonna do whatever it is that we do, like with relentless effort. And so, and then the the A is actually mentality. And what I talk about with mentality is it's kind of funny, but we talk about um, I, we talk about it's kind of fun. I have two stories though, and so we talk about it'd be nice if, but our you know we're the Bobcats, but. I have two stories. One of them's with a bulldog, and one of them's with a lion. And so, a lot of times, I'll, I'll talk to them about lion mentality or bulldog mentality, just to have that mentality. And I mean, so I'll go quick. You know, like a lion. You know, I, I can tell them. I saw this the other day, and I, I talked to a kid, and it really resonated with him. But we talked about like, you know, like the, you know, the lion. The lion is the, you know, he's the king of the jungle. You know, that's what everyone says, king of the jungle. And, but, you know, like they say, the lion's not the biggest animal. He's not the fastest animal. You know, some people say he might not even be, you know, technically the smartest animal. But when he walks when he walks in around the jungle and stuff, you know, when, when he walks somewhere, you know, what do those other animals do? They know he's the king of the jungle. You know, and I just tell them, you know, I want, I want them to have that mindset of, hey, you might not be the biggest. You might not be the fastest. You might not be the smartest. But, hey, when you're in their room, people are going to be like, okay, hey, that guy, he's confident in himself. You know, kind of that tie, tie in with that. Yeah. So we, I've really stressed with that. And then, man, I found this story. Uh, it was about a bulldog. Anyways, long story short, like, this guy moves to a place, and he's got these two, like, hunting dogs that are, like, high-profile hunting dogs. And every single that every – so this little bulldog comes into their uh, backyard, and those those dogs just maul him. I mean, just maul him, maul him, maul him. And he, he, he takes whatever – he, he takes as so much as he can. The little bulldog leaves, licks his wounds. Well, the next day, guess what? Little bulldog comes. Those those uh, dog those hunting dogs just maul him till he gets all he can take, licks his wounds. Anyways, well, he does that for about a couple of days. Well, then the owner of that uh, bulldog, I mean, the owner of the hunting dogs had to leave. So he told his wife. He said, "Hey, he's like, hey, I'm just curious. When I, when I'm gone for a week, uh, just let me know how whatever you know how that bulldog how that ends up." Well, anyway, so he comes back, and it's funny because he said, "Hey, well." Have those have our you know prize uh, hunting dogs? Have they finally you know, either killed that bulldog or did he, or did he stop coming? And uh, anyways, the wife's like, he's like, no. She's like, you know, the funniest thing happened. She's like, that bulldog would come back every single day, and he said eventually, or the, he he said that, or she said eventually, uh, whenever those whenever those hunting dogs would hear that bulldog coming, they would actually run off because they got sick and tired of his persistence and they would actually just go to the like run off and she said that little bulldog would just prance around their backyard and do whatever he wanted because those those hunting dogs got tired of him every single day just kept coming and coming and coming and he just was relentless and and persistent and uh so i told my kids about that and and so sometimes we talk about just mentality having the right mentality and uh so that I guess I mean there's more to it, but the quick summed up version would be that. And we talked about we talked about stuff like that a lot. And I'm a big story guy. I love telling stories, tying in stories with whatever word that I talk about. And because uh, I and I think I got that from Coach Reed because he would always tell us stories. But I always remembered them, so I was sitting there going, "Well, as a kid, I still remember those." And that's I mean that was twelve, you know, twelve, twelve years ago, yeah. Yeah. 12, 13, 14 years ago, and I still remember some of the stories that he told me. Well, well, yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's the, the that's, that's the key, key I think. think to, and, and I think, I think more co- the best coaches, coaches I, have, I, have, I remember more the the stories, stories than, than and, and, and then they, that, that does flip you back, back over to the principle, principle right? You know, you know just, just you know, you know preaching, preaching the, the scripture itself isn't isn't it? And, 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 and of course, you know, Christ, Christ that was that was what made him so great, right? Perfect. All these all the stories, right? All the stories that we remember the stories. That's exactly well, you know, and that's what I, you know. I was at a like a church, you know, and, and I, I have a book called Lead Like Jesus. And anyways, but uh, I remember a preacher one time. I don't remember it was a couple years ago, but he was talking about, and that's what he was talking about. He said, "Hey, the best leader that ever was." He's like, "How did he teach most of the time? He told he was, he told parables, which you know, which is stories basically." He said that's how he taught, and he's like, "So if he used that, he's like." 
then that's, I mean, he's like, if the best leader of all time taught that way, well, then that's probably how, that's probably a pretty good example of how it should be done. And that always resonated with me. And so I thought, so I always try to find stories to re, to tie along with whatever I'm preaching or whatever. And, and I'm like you, man, I'll be honest, you know, I tell kids all the time, you know, I'm in a public school, but, you know, and some people, but they tell me, they're like, are you, like, are you worried? And I'm really not. Like, I just, I tell kids, I'm not going to force it on you, but I'm also not going to hide it, you know, my faith and stuff. And that's just the way it is. And I, and I tell kids, and like, and I'll tell them sometimes when, when I'm about to do a, like, cause sometimes I'll do devotionals and I'll tie in scripture and different things. And I just tell the kids beforehand, I'm like, look, I'm going to do this. And I mean, I'll tell them like, Hey, if, you, if you're not comfortable with it, you can walk out, no hard feelings, blah, blah, blah. But I've never had, I've never had a kid ever yeah. walk out and say that they're not comfortable. No, no, I, I haven't either. either. I've, I've, I've had, had, I've actually had, had Muslim, Muslim kids, kids on my team. team. And, and I, I this is one of the darndest things. things. That, that was one of those ones where, you, you know, in this day and age, you get worried. And you, and you, I had a, 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 a Muslim young man on my, on my, on my team. team. And after, you know, and, and, and I knew it was coming. His father came up um, because we had a, um, a, a basically we had a prayer. And it was on a public school and then we had a prayer. And the, and the prayer, prayer was not, not I, mean, I mean, I was very, very good. good. It was the same way it was young, it was a junior high team, team right? right? So, so my, my point, point it, it really focused on principles that we, that we could all agree upon. And, 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 and then we said the exact same words every time, so as not to go, go off on any wild tangents. And, and the other thing, too, is when you're when you're young, you know, just saying the same thing over and over again, maybe they'll stick, right? And anyway, so I had this dad come up to me afterward, and I was just, you know, it's one of those moments where you think, gosh, you know, maybe I pushed it too far. Um, you know, Lord, help me here. And uh, he came up, and he said, he said, my son was sharing with me the, the, the prayer. He said, that is the best thing I have ever, you know, had happen to my son in sports. And I thought... You know, yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, and that, and, you know, here we are always worried because everything we were talking about was just simply that there's something bigger than ourselves, right, God, yeah. which Muslims believe, believe as well, and, and here are the principles that make us men, which <laughs> their faith teaches as well. So, you know, um, I mean, you get into doctrinal issues on anything. I mean, shoot, I don't, I'm not going to get into doctrinal issues on, on, on Christianity, you know, so... Uh, but, but, you know, that was, and so, so that I was always, I've always, always felt, felt like, um, you know, and, and again, like, like you say, if somebody is, is uncomfortable, they will get up and leave. But I've never, young, young men are looking for a basis by which to believe the things you, you are saying. saying. And, and, and there has to be something that you ground all of that in. And it can't be me. So you can't teach, you can't teach. Uh, the team, and you can't, you can't teach, teach bigger than us, and, and then not tell, tell people what us, what, what, what is bigger than us. That's exactly right. Uh, so, so, yeah, I, I think, think you're on, on, definitely on the right, right, right path, path there, there Coach. Coach. Now, so let's, so let's, let's, let's get, get into a, a little bit of um, the football. So you're, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. interesting. I, what, what happens, happens, and I, I may be the beneficiary or not this season of this, I don't know, I hope not. And, and, and I'll just explain, but, but when, when you, you have a, a, a team that does not make in the public school, you know, because, because of the numbers, numbers, I know that's not going to be your, your but, but looking, looking back at your record, you had like a four-win four season, you had a, or a four-game four season. season. I'm, I'm guessing that's because there's just at some point wasn't enough players to continue the season. Right, yeah, that was, yeah, so that was, see, like, like last yeah, two years ago. Okay, so two years ago, when I can't remember, Coach Huey, I think, was the coach. But they, uh, they, yeah, I think they started out. I think they started out with like seven, and they just, I mean, you know, I mean, you just get it's hard to, it's hard oh, to, yeah. uh, and so they played. Yeah, they played like two or three games, and then they just couldn't do it anymore. And I tell you what, we got so the so so this year when I got here, they hired me, and we had so first day of practice we had. I had eight kids, and so I knew I was like, man, this is gonna be tough, you know. But we, uh, and then we had one young man move in, and and uh, anyways, we finished. We ended up finishing the year with nine. So we, uh, you know, we we got to finish the year, and, and in all reality, that was our like. I know this is probably I know some's, but we just wanted to finish the year. We were like, hey, I didn't tell the kids that, but you know, me and the administration school board, you know, it's just kind of like, hey, we just need to, we just need to finish a year and that'll be, that'll be a, a step towards no, you know, that's a building stone right there. there. And, exactly. Yeah. And so we did and, you know, and, 
I was so proud of those boys. I mean, there was a couple games where we I'll be we finished the game with six. I mean, we don't you know either with the kid got hurt or everything, but we always finished every game we played, and so it was it was good for that. I was you know I was. Uh, so is that, that a superintendent call, call as, as to whether, whether or not you're going to feel the season with? The numbers, the numbers you have, you have at the beginning, beginning of the season, season or is that, is that a UIL rule? rule? I mean, you, you have to start, start the season with eight or nine. Or nine. I mean, what is the, the you know? In, 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 in the, the private schools, you can do whatever you want, right? right? As, as long as you put six, six on the field. field. But you know, you know, I, I would start, start the season with six. six. Yeah, like the UIL rule. I mean, really, the only rule that technically, really, UIL has is you just have to start a game with six. Like, so if you can, if you can start a game, you know, with six people, you can play. Uh, now, obviously, now you and they like, and technically, you can start a game with six and end with four if you wanted. I mean, most teams probably wouldn't, but right. as long as you, as long as you start with six, you can, you can technically. I mean, you can fill the team, so you can do it. So, but usually, it's just, you know, I've never, I've never, I mean, I've never, luckily, I've never got in that situation. But I know from what it sounds like, eventually, it's just the the AD and the head football coach, whatever, and the superintendent, they just finally meet and just, you know, it's a, agreements of pay. We can't fill the team. And then it's just letting all the, letting all your people know, like, hey, we're not going to be able to fill the team this year. And you need to do what you need to do or whatever. So, right. but yes, sir. Yeah, yeah I, I was, um, you yeah, know, yeah, there's, there's a, a yeah, on, on our schedule, schedule we've, we've had some teams, teams in the past that you didn't know whether, you know, the coaches, coaches call you and say, look, I'm starting the season with seven, seven but you're week seven, seven or you're week eight, I don't know if I, yeah, exactly. I get to. And, and, and they're honest about it, and I appreciate when a coach is, is in that way, and they'll tell you, you know, do you want to schedule somebody? I understand if you do, and I never do. I mean, I'm like, look, you know, we'll. You know, we'll, we'll be there when you'll, you'll be there when we get, get there, type thing. thing. You know, that, that's you know, yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray that you're you're, you're going to be there. But, but uh, you know, you know, we, we have, have uh, the converse of that this year. We're, we're somebody's backup game. If uh, I had an open week, week and if, if somebody on their schedule doesn't uh, doesn't make uh, and it have to be a public school, then then we'll be you know we'll be able to step up. And I told him, look, I can always fill it with with. Yeah, we'll just take it as an off week. week. I mean, my, my guys hate that, that, but you know, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, in, 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 in public schools, schools you, and this is what's interesting because of the way that it, it works is TAPS, which, which is the largest private, private school group, group and, 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 and UIL, UIL, of course, for, for where, where you play. play. You, you all take a week eight off, um, because because you're getting ready for district because y'all do nine, ten, eleven, and we are. Uh, and, and TAPS, taps is the same, same thing. thing. Uh, so, so it's very difficult to fill a week eight for, 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 for us. I mean, I mean it, unless, unless you're, you're well, typically we play in conference. conference. We, we go, go a little bit different. We, we go through week, week 10, and then, then we take week 11, 11 off before our playoffs. playoffs. So we're, 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 we're just a uh, – but, but anyway, I mean, it's, it's kind of – I wish our systems would align a little bit more. <laughs> a little answer. Yeah, yeah from, from a scheduling, scheduling purpose, purpose that, that, that tends to be. be. But yeah, but yeah I, was I was always curious as to. So, so you, you only need to just to show, up show up with six, and you and, and you got, got it, and you can go. go. Uh, what? Yes, sir. Yeah, as long as you start with six, that's as far as I know. That's the only rule is, is yeah, if you if you can start a game with six, then you can go, and then you're good to go. So, I mean, obviously it's going to be hard, you know, because but I mean that's the rule. Like if you can, if you if you've got six to start out the game, you're you're good to go. So, uh, so, so tell, tell me a little, little bit about uh, your district. district. Uh, I, don't I don't know, know much about your district, district, I'll be honest. And, 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 you know, and all the incredible preparation that I did here, I did look. look. <laughs> so who's in your district, uh, Coach? Okay, so we got uh, Jayton, okay. Luter, Zavoka, Guthrie, and Pink Creek. And uh, so, you know, and as of right now, you know, I, I don't know for sure they – you know, Guthrie has told us they might have a team. Paint Creek has already said they probably won't. So I'm so we're kind of in the now Luters wow. and Jayton will, but um so and Coach Jayton, you know, Jayton and Jayton's solid. I mean Jayton made it to the semifinals last year and I think they only graduated like two, so they're gonna be they'll be good. Uh so and I know Luters had a good squad last year, so I mean we had a we had a pretty tough district last year. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that's, that's a five-team five district? district. That can't. That can't. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. They. We. No, most. Most of our. Most. 
most districts have four, but right. for ours has five. So, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, uh, that was, was uh, well because then, then you, you would be playing, playing a week eight, eight if everybody was fielding, fielding the team. team. Basically, yes, sir. And that, yeah, for us we would, yes, sir. Since we have that, since we have that number, which, like you said, I don't know right now, and it's kind of hard, you know, which because Paint Creek, like I told you, Paint Creek is already kind of sound like it's kind of said like maybe one of your schools, like they've or one of the schools that notified you because they they kind of told us hey, we're not going to have one, so you can, you know, they're like you know there still might be a move, and you know you know that type of stuff, yeah. but they're like probably not, so. That's what they kind of told us is you might want to go ahead. And so I've kind of, I kind of, me and another school, we've kind of talked. And I, that's what I said. I said, hey, if this really ends up not panning out, then we'll play each other. And that that school was like, okay, that sounds good. So yeah, uh, yeah. I've got a plan if for some reason they don't. So Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of the way I was. I have a very senior team this year. year. And so, so my, my rule is, my, my rule has always been, and, and I like it. Yeah, said last year, a lot of them be last year play football. I mean, that's, that's one, one of the downsides of, of our sport, right? right? Is, is that you really, really just don't go play unless, unless you're going to the next level. level. Yeah, yeah, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't you don't throw off pads when you're you know 32 years old and start and start smacking on your brother. I mean, you go out there basketball, you play golf, you can do every other sport. I mean, I mean, you, you go, go out there, there but, but this is just, just not one. one. And, you know, it, it ends at 18, right? right? I, mean, I mean, that's, that's typically for that's right. And, and so, so for, as of that, that my rule has always been, well, seniors get, get to play. play. You know, you know so, so I'm not going to pull a senior, senior unless he wants to pull himself. And that's usually worked well because we've always had sort of like three or four seniors every year. And some years maybe two. And yeah, you know, you know, so, so if you want to, if you want to kind of dial it back because you need to dial it back in a game, well, you just throw a lot of freshmen in there, right? And keep the two seniors, and they're all frustrated because nobody around knows what they're doing, but they're still in the game. You didn't break your rule. You're just like they're like you took you took all the other people out. Well, there you go. Two on six. So, uh, but this year, year when, I, when I leave, every, I, have I have to, to I'm pretty, pretty much on both sides of the ball. I mean, we're, we're we're just a significantly senior team, and so, um, it, you know, I'm gonna, gonna have, have to live by what I've uh, you know, done, done, and that means that we're gonna have, um, yes. we're gonna, we're gonna, there are gonna be games that we get into that. Uh, but, but um, you know, seniors, seniors get to play. play. Then, but then, then the, the, com- the next year we'll have a lot, a lot of young players, players right. that didn't get, get as much playing time, time or they'll got they'll, they'll, we're, we're going to have a JV for the first time. So that'll, that'll get us the, uh, a good deal, man. Yeah, yeah get, get us some experience. experience. Now, you, 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 you got, got just enough from one team, team correct, right, Coach? You're looking at your numbers. That's Well, well, but you know what's crazy is, is now nah, you know, nineteen. You might you get, you get nineteen, 19 or, 20. or twenty. Well, that's what, well, so that's the thing. Like, and I, and you know what? This is what's crazy. I've had, I haven't had nineteen, but I have had, I've had seventeen boys tell me they're going to play. So now, once you know what those I do. Once what they say in, you know, May, yeah. or April, and May. And once it comes to August, you don't know if that if they're really. But I have had 17 tell me they're, that they're thinking about that they'll probably play. So, I I mean I don't know. It, it there's an outside shot. I'm I'm gonna say like you said, probably not. But there is an outside shot that we might. So we'll just have to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's always, always good. good. I mean, I, I had, had that, that uh, last, last season. season. I, I had. had uh, um, I really wanted to get my younger my younger, my younger, younger players. players. Uh, an, an opportunity. opportunity. We played, we played one, one JV game. game. The young, young man got, got, got hurt in that game, game was out for the season, season and basically left us only with, we, we were going to that JV with seven. seven. And that, and that left, left us with six, six. And, and, and it's just difficult to start a game with six knowing that, that, that I know. you, you, you know, know one, one injury, injury, one person, person and, and the game's over. Right? You're going to encourage somebody to come all the way from Corpus Christi to you know, you're, you're going to go all the way to Corpus Christi and, and, and only find, find out you played for 10 minutes, minutes right? right? I mean, yeah. so um, we, we just kind of shelved it. it. But, but you know, and, and that's, 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 that's that number that's really tough, right? right? So, so it's, it's always better, you know, to have, have 19, 19 or 20, 20 and then that way you can actually make it work. Well, because that's what, you know, my like you said, my superintendent, he told me that, he sir, he asked me, he said, you know, because we looked at the numbers, and I told him, hey, there's a possibility of this, is what the boys are saying, but, you know, I said, you don't really know until day one. Anyways, but, so he, and that's what he said. He said, well, what, he said, what is the number that you would do, JV? And I, and I, that's what I told him. I said, kind of like, exactly like you said, I said, I would probably try with 16, 
because I said I could probably go nine and seven, but I said, but I, but even then I said that's cutting it pretty close. Yeah, yeah so, that's true. Uh, that's a because real... I. 18 is kind, kind of my magical, magical number. 18 is a good solid, solid you know, you know I'm going to have 10. And, and then uh, uh, it, it just depends. depends. When we, we play a D1 schedule. schedule. And so, and so yeah, you know, and, and that, that puts, puts in our league, league that puts, and when you're in D1, D1 I'm learning. Because last, last year was our first year in D1. I mean, you just run up against these teams that can send waves. I mean, literally, coach. Wait. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you just, just like you're, you're sure. Just that's, that's, an that's an entire. That's an entire new backfield. backfield. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they didn't play the first, first half, and they're just as big and strong as the second. second. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> that, that, that can that can, that can really get you uh, when, when they start they start, they start platooning on you. You just go well. That's right. We, we ran into, into a good, good Medina, Medina team a couple years, years back when they had a pretty good run in the playoffs, and I would think they were 10 0 going into the playoffs. And uh, yeah, yeah, we were part of that uh, 10 for them, them and 0 oh for us. But, but um, you know, it was at, at halftime where I think we were up by one or tied, and I looked at my guys and just said, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, and they did. They came out in the second half and they just said, you know what, we're going to put in the, se- you know, the second group. Yeah. Yes, sir. And they, they seem to be pretty fresh. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. So, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, what is the, uh, you know, I, I always kind of, and it's been, a, it's been a pleasure coaching. I always like to kind of end on a little bit of a lighter note. You've been coaching for a while now and I always find, um, you know, you know, I, 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 I share, share with folks that I, I started, started my, my, my football coaching career by being an official. I, I, you know, I figured that was that, that, that was the route, route to go because I wanted to uh, to learn what the other side, side thought. You know, and then, then I quickly ran back to coaching. But, uh, uh, you, know, you know, I always, the officials sit around. I don't coach this on others. There's a chapter day where the officials get together. And then part of that chapter day is to tell about crazy coaches. That they, they ran into, yeah. and, and, and like you know, you get you, you, you get, get a beer or whatever for for, for if, if you tell, tell the craziest coach, coach story, uh, you know about whatever uh, uh, whatever happened on the sidelines. Side. Well, it's, it's a sideline side story, but it's almost invariably a coach. You know, it's rarely like a player. Oh, yeah. um, so I always say, you know, turn that table around and say, what what what, what officials. You know, you know, there's got to be maybe you know, somewhere along the way where you had an interaction, interaction with an official, a crew, or something in some weird way that had an impact on the game. You, it making you know, things that just make you go, hmm. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, okay, so I guess I don't know how crazy it is, but I remember, see, I'm also, I coach, okay, so like a role, I pretty much do everything. Like I'm, I'm AD, head football, head basketball, head track. Like that's just, yeah. yeah. And so, I guess kind of a, like, so an official story that I had this year, which I, I can tend to be, like you said, I, as much as I probably don't like to admit it, I'm just an energetic guy. Like, I'm, I'm very energetic when I coach, and, and uh, like, I'm not one of those guys that can just sit down and, you know, some people that works for them, that's just not yeah. me. And uh, so I'm pretty energetic, and so I'm probably, I would probably be that coach that some officials would probably say, hey, that role coach, he's crazy. You better watch him. Because <laughs> anyway, I'm loud, and, but anyways, and uh, but in basketball this year we were playing looters and we were playing at looters and man I, and I had I had nine boys in basketball we had nine boys play basketball no ten I'm sorry so we had ten but one one young man fell so I had nine in the game or I had nine at the and uh, man we he fell okay so at the he called so many fouls and I I didn't feel like it was very it wasn't consistent but he he called so many fouls what the in about the at midway point of the third quarter, I had four. I was down to four guys. He, he had fouled out already six of my guys, <laughs> and so I was like, "So I'm sitting here like, dude, really?" And uh, so then, but then get this. So then, so then, right as the fourth quarter, so I'm already fed up. But then, right as soon as the fourth quarter comes, he comes up to me. He's like, and he's sitting there. He's like yelling at me. He's like, "Coach, you only have four. You only have four. You know." He's, and he's like, "They're yelling at me," and I'm like. Like he, I guess he forgot that yeah, he, he was the reason. Yeah, and that's what he's, he's like. I'm mean, sitting there yelling at me like, Coach, you only got four on the floor. I'm like, Yeah, because of you, I only have four. I'm like, I'd love to put another one out there. But I was like, I was like, 
but you you won't let me. Or I said you've already you've already uh you've already fixed that problem. So I'm like, I don't know what. To, and he was like, Oh yeah, oh yeah. But, I mean, he was like yelling at me, like, Coach, you need to get another one out here. I'm like, I would love to if I could, but you already found them all out. So, but he, ah, oh, that guy just man, it was it was uh, uh, never had that though. He felt, I mean, he felt all six of them out, and then he's sitting there yelling at me to get to get another guy on the court and I'm like yeah I can't so I don't know it's just <laughs> you know, you know I, 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 I could never I only did only official a lot of those officials will officiate multiple sports, sports but, but you know, I, 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 I uh, that, that baseball, baseball and basketball, boy, everybody's, everybody's just, just too close, close to you. you. You know, you know I mean, it's just, that, yes. that's, that's, that's the ones that, that uh, I, will I will tell you that it does give you an interesting, interesting you look at the game very differently when you, if you officiate properly. Because you're, you're not, not watching, watching the football right. game. You're, you're watching, watching a, a section. Yeah, you're watching, yes. yeah, you're watching your area. You're, you're, if you're doing it right, you're doing your job, right? Like we got Coach Oliver, do your job. You know, you know, don't, 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 don't. If, if you, you want to watch the, that's why we film. That's what I love about film. film. I always say, if you want, we can, we can we film, film everything. everything. We, we can, can all sit down and watch the game later. later. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You know, this is this is the beauty of film. I mean, when I was playing, we didn't film everything. So I, I you know, I, I could have turned around to the coach and go, "Why well, might never see this again?" <laughs> yeah, but now you can. Exactly. You know, being the kind of smart aleck that I was, that's probably what I would say, Coach. I'll never get a chance to see him run that if I don't turn around and look. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, that's, that's the way it is. Well, uh, Coach, that's, that's a good story. I, I thank you very much for your time. I'm glad you're back in your hometown and that you're, getting, you're doing the right thing and you're, 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 you're rebuilding and, and doing it the right way. And it sounds like looking forward to keeping, keeping tabs on you, you know, throughout the season. Um, you know, you know, if you ever find your way in Central Texas, uh, look us up. We'd certainly love to entertain you. And, Yes, sir. You know, you know, I, I, don't I don't know if I'll find, find myself out of rule, but you never know. I might get stranded and yeah, lost on my way to Amarillo. Yeah, so. I mean, that's right. Hey, man, that's, uh, if you ever do, man, stop on by. It's, it's uh, I feel like either, if you're not, yeah, there's definitely no if reason to really usually to come to rule unless you've got some ties. But, yes, yeah, sir, uh, it's, uh, I do, though. It's, I do love it. I had a lot of, even, you know, it's crazy. Even, even, people knowing that I was a rural boy still like a bunch of people when I took the job I had a bunch of my coaching buddies like are you nuts man what's wrong with you have you gone crazy and I'm like I'm like guys it's I said it's I said it's it's my hometown I said no nah, and I, I said I think it's a God thing I said this is where God wants me and my family yeah. so I mean it's just it is what it is so that's, that's awesome, awesome. Make the most of it sound like you're doing, doing a great job, job. Um, you know, I appreciate it. And, and, and just, just so everybody that's uh, in, in our community knows, we're, we're not doing film today. Coach, coach is a little, uh, a little further out, out but uh, I will state that uh, for those of you uh, that think you, you know, we are going to have some film afterwards if, 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 if there's an opportunity at the end of this, and if you're watching on YouTube, to flip on over. Um, uh, I'm going to see if uh, uh, Coach might, might be able to give us uh, some, some, some film, film that he had from uh, some drills. And, and uh, if he's able to come, come up with that, we'll go ahead and put that up. Because a few years back, I was at a, um, a clinic, clinic where Coach had, had some great drills on, uh, on, on six-man football, football um, defense, defense and offense. And I thought they were really uh, stellar. So maybe we can find and dig those up and get those on. We appreciate, again, I've been told to always, you know, like, share, do all, all those things, things you do. do. I'm not, not the most technical, technical person. Uh, and, uh, you know, spread, spread the word. word. We'd, We'd like, like to, if you know somebody else, else that you would that you think uh, would be good, good for this format, format. we'd certainly appreciate reaching out to them and seeing that they, uh, they'll uh, be a part. We have Coach Braun with Stephenville Faith uh, coming up. We have Coach Jones with Garden City. We have uh, Coach Helms. We've got a lot of programs ahead. Um, thank, thank you, Coach Gidley. We, we truly, truly do appreciate you having you today. Sure, man. It's fun. All right. Well, God, God bless, bless and everybody have a good day. day. Hey, too. Thank you.